in this short clip we will see the programming feature of CG10 Casio Prism sometimes you need to uh, translate formula in a program form so that you can use the same formula for different coefficients such as uh, quadratic equation you have a b and c and whenever those change you want to find the solution x1 x2 and the program feature comes uh, very handy uh, it's useful uh, the first thing in any programming is to get acquainted with the programming environment itself that means the editor so that's what we will be uh, doing in this clip so here is the program and we load that by executing so we have uh, already one program here uh, but when you have absolutely new Casio you may not have any program written there uh, it may not have come with anything at all then you will have no list but we will create first program but before that let's see what we have here the, the program list allows you to select a program and then execute that means run that program or you can edit it if I press edit it will open and give you show you the code if you want to change that or you can create a new program file name and start writing the program or you can delete anyone from the list or you can delete all and then there is uh, there are some more options which we can see that you can search you can rename the file and you can uh, save this as and you can load the saved files and you can password protect your programming code if you again click f6 you will go back to the original thing so the first thing we have to do is to create a new program and that's at the f3 location so f3 and we see that we have caps key and which is locked that means you can enter only alphabets so our first program as always has been traditionally is hello world so h e l l o and you cannot have uh, space because only eight characters are allowed so we will be uh, very careful w o r and there is nothing for l and d so we say that's fine only when you hit enter the program name gets registered and you will see the editor there it is you have this is the editor in which you can start typing what we want to do in our first program is type a message and then run the program so that that message is displayed on the screen and nothing much it will do but we want to do that so if i want to enter characters here so you have to have this alpha and lock the key so that you don't have to each time do that uh, alpha character kind of thing so we have hello world with h here uh, now we already know where the letters are at least for that word so hello and there is a space here and w o r l d w o r l d but now this is not in the quotes so let us see if this is accepted or not or what happens you can read the manual and go through that properly but this kind of message is text message and it has to be in quotes so i'm going to put quotes here and then i will also have to put quotes in the beginning so i am going to put that uh, here and then i am hoping that my program is ready and we will 
uh, save it in order to save this line you have to hit enter then it gets accepted and the, look at the end of the line you will see that there is a hit enter character now this is ready to run so there is no run button here when that happens you have to exit now there is a program and there is execute so if you say f1 you have hello world and you can uh, say that you have written your first program it does only one thing it shows two words hello world now you want to exit this program you have to exit so that's what happens when you run the program here again you do not know whether the program has finished or not only when you hit enter it exits so good idea is always to give some indication that the program has ended the way you wanted so i'm going to go back and edit and say that line the program has ended i wanted to write end but it accepted exponential so that's not what i want so i'm going to go alpha shift alpha so i have those good uh, good practice is to put quotation marks in pair then go inside and then write so that your syntax will not be incorrect so here end now again i am going to enter this line and exit and run the program so here is run now i know that the program ran to the end so i will say exit and the first program is now successful so let's find out other things while that program which is very simple small and we can take the risk of playing with it so if we go to the uh, f6 uh, we get rename and we get save as this is an important feature that you should know as a beginner save as will save the file in a text form so that in case you have to uh, for some reason reset the calculator your code will not be lost it will be somewhere there in a text form so it is f3 so see what happens hello world text press exit this press exit will be very often and so you simply exit and now it's there so if you delete this or if it gets deleted and we'll do that here it is f4 will delete and then f1 will confirm now there is no program if you exit and if you go to some other option there is only one program here so let's go back and run the uh, load the program application now we wanted to run that program but we do not have it so we will go back and load the program that we saved so this is again at f4 position and there uh, it should be in the programs directory so you go down and say open is f1 and you have the saved program is there so when you open this the program will be loaded and it will be here again so you can be ready to edit it that's where the program is so you know how to now create file save file delete and reload the text file if you have not saved as a text file a lot of effort can go uh, waste so make sure that you save at least one copy as text and this is the end of the uh, this introductory programming uh, clip